Hello everyone, this is Shubham Saudari and I welcome you again in this YouTube channel. Today, we have got a brand new project in our weekly web development playlist. It is a to-do web application. In, in this video, we are diving into the world of Node.js, Express.js and MongoDB to craft a slick to-do to -do list web application. We will be exploring the code behind the scenes, discuss how we use Express.js for server-side logic, MongoDB for database management and Node.js to tie it all together seamlessly. From setting up our project with environment variables to handling dynamic routes with Express.js, it's a comprehensive guide to building a practical web application. So, before, before jump to the project, if you are new to the channel, please hit, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. We, we, did, we discuss daily lead code problem of the day videos daily and weekly web development projects so let's check this is our ui for this uh, to-do list application uh, this is the hosted web this is the hosted website in the on the cyclic application uh, we will check how to how to run it locally so this is the to-do list application here we can create our personalized to-do list so for example uh, let's check let's put something to do here cricket one hour so by clicking plus it will add our to do to the list uh, then study to our And by clicking this radio button, we can delete it at the runtime. And here you can create multiple to do list by simply adding your list name above add to your list name. So, in this, we can create our personalized to do list. So, for example, for office. Here we have created our to do list for the office. Suppose for home. Yeah, we have created our personalized to do list for home. So here we have created it with our database, MongoDB database. And this is the database to do list DB where it contains items and list as table or collection. Here, uh, in the items collection, we have stored three rows. Welcome to your to do list. Hit the plus button and hit this delete an item. So it renders, it appears here. Further, run the code locally. Here, this is our code for this project and for running for for running it locally we will use command node index.js we will we will uh, okay the mongodb is connected and the, and the and the server has started so let's hit the route local host 2000 yeah we have we have successfully ran the project locally here you can see the difference in the urls this is the hosted website and this is the local web, local location so let's dive into the code here we have used node.js and express.js for backend and MongoDB as a database. Talking about the folder structure, we have index.js in the root directory, and we have a views folder in which we have implemented footer, header, and list for showing the list. After that, we have we have also used 
CSS for styling. Here in the package boss in the package package.json you can see the all the dependencies installed here. We have installed body parser, dot env, tjs, express, lodash, method override, mongoose, and morgan. So and we are we have we have imported them in here express, require express, mongoose, body parser, lodash. Morgan method method override and dot env is used for uh, we have used this process dot env port for storing environment variables. Environment variables helps us to keep our MongoDB URI safe. So let's dive into the port. First of all, we have connected mongoose and assigned mongodb dot connected. If it will, if it cut, if the mongodb database connects to our Node Node.js server, then it will give us mongodb connected. So here, item schema is defined. And item is our data uh, is our collection in in which item one and item uh, these three items are stored uh, welcome to our to do list hit the plus button to add new item and this third one we stored the we stored them in item array here then we again create a new schema for list uh, list schema and again, using mongoose.model, we have created a collection for list. Then we have backend routes for root directory. It is a gate route. Uh, there is a post route for delete option. Here, slash post slash delete. And it is a post route for root directory. Then there is a custom route for creating our custom to do list and at last the, the server uh, the server is listening on port so in the gate route uh, we find item all the item all the items in the item collection and if all length item lengths equals to zero, then we will insert this item array which contains our three items. And after that, we will see this in the console default three values inserted in the DB. And we will redirect it to the route uh, root directory, root route. If if the all items length is not equal to zero, then we will render we will render this list which is a HTML page and we will pass uh, two arguments as list item it is today and new element as all items. This list element, this list is a HTML, HTML page here, the list.ejs. The ejs is embedded JavaScript. So with the help of this ejs, we can we can import javascript in this html page here we are using the javascript in the html so our html file looks like this uh, list in the list ejs we are importing header.ejs which will import our header file and at last we are importing the footer file so in the header file this is the header and this is the footer. So main main file is list.ejs where we are we first of all use this as you can create multiple to-do list by simply adding your list name above. So this is the paragraph which loads here, you can create multiple to-do lists by simply adding. 
then we have used box kind box class for storing the list title this is the title to do which is a dynamic variable uh, as we are we are passing or uh, we are passing passing it in the index structures here list title we have passed to do so it will render to do there after that the new element dot for each will show all the three elements or the three to to do lists before anything else and after that here it will render if uh, it will render a input box here and the plus icon and index.js slash get route will render this then slash post route talking about the slash post route if uh, we hit the plus button then it will fit it will redirect to a post route which we have implemented here which will add a to do uh, which will add a new to do and render it here so for that we are getting new item and list in the body for that we are for for body we are using using this body parser so next if list name is to do then we are saving item document dot save and we are redirecting it to root directory if false then if we are finding which list is it and then pushing that item document in that list and then again with the help of save we are storing it in the mongodb database and again we are redirecting it to the corresponding route here we are just checking if the current to do is for the our default list or the custom to do and storing it to the database according next the delete route as we click here this button it will redirect us to this route slash delete and in this uh, we will check uh, we will we will get the elements first by taking request dot body dot checkbox and request dot body dot list name then if list name is to do then using the mongodb query for finding and removing by id uh, we will remove the item id and we will again return to it to the current route. And if and if we are not on the default to do, we will check first. And we will check here what is the what is the current to do name. And again, with this query, we are deleting it. Next. The get route is for the custom list name. So, if we create a custom route here, slash home, here the custom to do list generated. So, for that, this is our custom route. In this route, Here we are finding first of all what is the name of our custom list using request.parents.customListName. So if you if you type the custom name in your URL, so request.parents will give us the give us that name. So we'll store it in custom list name. And after that, 
this is not my name. If we found if we find found a custom list name already present in our uh, in our database, so we will create a new list here and then save it to the database. Else we will render this list HTML page again with the list title and new element as dynamic variables by passing value dot name and value dot items dynamically. So that's it. Uh, let's check list not ejs again. So list title will appear dynamically as you type there in the custom list. Then here this process dot env dot port it is an environment variable and in this we have stored a port variable which can contains our port number and here process dot env dot mongo URI. This mongo URI is an environment variable which contains our MongoDB connection string for connecting to the MongoDB data for MongoDB database. So let's restart the server again. We will wait till our the MongoDB and server on. Here the MongoDB is connected means we have secure connection with the MongoDB server and also our local server is started. So we can hit the route localhost 3000. Here we get our default to-do list and the to-do items. Let's add some routes again. Okay, let's add some to-do list again. Drink five liters of water daily. Yeah. The program is locally running successfully and if as far as we hit the radio button, it will delete the to-do list. So if you want to access the web application, you can check my GitHub account or hit this URL. It is a hosted web application. So you can also create your own custom to-do lists. Or you can go to the my, go to my GitHub account and search for the to be list MongoDB. Here you will get the source code, all the files related to it. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Your feedback and engagement are crucial as we build this community. Stay tuned for upcoming LitCo problem of today videos and exciting Munstack web development projects. Happy coding and let's make this year a fantastic one together. Thank you.